hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix unidentified network no internet access on windows 11 or windows 10 so this problem can be with your wi-fi connection or with your lan connection don't worry apply the solution that i will be sharing in this video and by the end of this video you will have the solution now before starting i would recommend you that kindly go ahead restart your modem and restart your pc to check back if the problem get fixed because majority of the time this fix the problem without doing any kind of troubleshooting but if you have already tried it and still if it's not working the next what you will have to do click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run a few command that you will be getting in the description so either you can copy and paste or you can manually type it so the first one will be NETSH space Winsock space reset. The next one will be NETSH space Winsock space reset space catalog. Hit the enter key and the next one will be NETSH space INT space IP space reset space reset log dot txt. And then type NETSH space INT space IP space reset. Now the next one we have to release the IP address. So type IP config space forward slash release. Hit the enter key and then type IP config space forward slash release. Now once all these commands get completed, final command will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Okay, so once you have completed all these commands, you will have to restart your computer and then check back. I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. But even after restarting the computer, still if you have the issues, then next click on your Windows search. Type ncpa.cpl. Hit the enter key. Now this will display all kind of your network connection. So with whichever connection you are connected to, like Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you need to make a right click on it. Click on properties then look for internet protocol version 4 double click on it now this will bring up such kind of page here and here if it's been selected to obtain an ip address automatically obtain dns server address automatically then what you will have to do select the second option here use the following dns server address and in the preferred dns you have to type 1.1.1.1 and in the alternate type 100 and 1 then you can click on ok but now in case if it's already been selected to the use the following dns server address then you have to select obtain dns server address automatically okay so you have to revert the action if it's been selected to obtain dns then to choose the second option if it's been selected to use the following dns then go with obtain dns automatically okay once you are done click on ok now make a right click on your network adapter with whichever you are having the problem choose disable wait for a few seconds again make a right click on it and choose enable and now you can check back if the issue has been resolved but in case it's still if you have the problem then you also can try disabling the fast startup so click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key now here from the left hand menu option click on choose what the power button does then click on change setting that are currently unavailable and all these options will be highlighted i'm using a virtual machine here so it's not showing me the fast startup but you will be getting an option of fast startup so you will have to uncheck that option once unchecked click on save changes and again check back if the issue has been resolved and if not then again close it make a right click on the windows icon click on device manager from the suggestion now here you have to look for network adapter double click on it then look for the adapter through which you are connected like for wi-fi you can look for the wi-fi for the lan you can look for the lan connection once you get it make a right click on it then click on uninstall device click on uninstall again once uninstalled finally make a restart and it will be automatically reinstalled and i'm very sure that this time your problem will be fixed 
So that's all guys for today. Hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you to get rid of this problem and you would be able to access the internet now. And if it worked, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.